Okay, so we are going to talk about the season finale, episode 10 of BGC 15. And did you guys wonder, when did they start making 10 episode um, seasons? They did it for season 13, um, my season, season 11. I think it went to like 14, 15 episodes. I'm not sure. You guys know I only stayed till 4, but I do know it was way more than 10. All right, so the episode starts, of course, with a fight once again, and it is a stair fight. <laughs> we already know that it had to be either the stair or the limo, either one on this season. So it's basically the Kardashians versus Christina, and it looks like Amber's kind of jumping in on this fight because it was the two girls against Christina. Of course, Christina has the upper hand because she's on the higher step. So it's like, they got to swing up. Christina can swing down. And, of course, here comes Kiko. Um, so, yeah, Christina definitely has the advantage, except for the fact of those two girls. Um, it looks like they can fight. All right, so Susu starts throwing pictures at them while they're on the stairs. Amber throws them back. And, like, at this point, security can barely hold her back. Amber's, uh, like I said, she's throwing the pictures back and stuff. And it's just, like, completely chaos. Like, glasses being broken. And I'm thinking, like, why did production put pictures with glass right by the stairs? I mean, I guess they didn't realize that every half the damn fights would be on the stairs. But I'm sure they're not going to do that on another season. No more glass pictures, like, in a controversial er area. And I wonder what those pictures were, by the way. I wonder if they were family photos like we had on BGC 13. Because remember, we had the family photos... Um, by our computer, which mine kept getting thrown away and torn and stuff, and of course the big chaos with the damn computer printed pictures, whatever. I wonder what was on those pictures. So if you know, comment below and tell me what were on those damn pictures. Alright, so I wonder where the Torque sisters were. I don't remember seeing them during this fight. I don't remember seeing them downstairs. I don't remember seeing them upstairs. I just don't remember seeing them whatsoever. I basically saw the three girls and then the two, the Torque... Uh, the Kardashians and the OGs. Okay. So after the fight, Christina's on the phone with Angela. And I really didn't like this part because she's on the phone and she's telling, Aunt, uh, Christina's telling Angela about the fight and stuff. And she keeps calling Hanan, Hanan, um, <laughs> I'm sure I'm saying it right. She keeps calling Hanan the fatter sister and she keeps calling Susu the less fatter one. And for one, I don't think either one of them are fat. I think they're just thick. And for Christina to be not so thin herself, like, why are you calling other girls fat? Because if those three were standing side by side, and if I had to pick which one is fat, which I don't think any of them are, it would definitely be Christina because Christina has a stomach while the other two girls do not. So why is Christina calling those girls hippos and calling them fat and stuff? It makes no sense to me. Alright, so they're fighting, and dang, they're fighting again! So after the phone call, yeah, they do, they start fighting again. Um, they brought up the kids. Why do I feel like this is later? The Kardashians go to the hotel, and then they go back home. Okay, so as they go to the hotel, um, they're talking shit while they're there, and they end up getting to go back in the house, even though they were throwing the pictures and stuff. And Susu goes to confront Christina as she's getting, like, her hair braided. And she's letting her know, like, when you run up, there's a problem. There's beef between us now, da-da-da. Christina interrupts her. She's like, no, let me speak my piece. Let me speak my piece. And she wasn't saying, let me make peace, like, P-E-A-C-E. -E. I believe she was saying, let me say my piece, as in P-I-E-C-E, -E, like, my piece of cake. Like, let me say my piece, my piece of the story. Um, so I don't know why. She was like, oh, yeah, she wasn't trying to make peace. She was trying to start an argument. Ain't no way say she was coming there to make peace. She even said that there's beef now. Like, what are you talking about? Christina interrupts her, and Susu makes a comment. She says, fix your socks, bitch. And, of course, camera zooms down, and she's wearing a black and white sock. So childish. Um, Christina says, go home and take care of your kids. They're yelling at her, like, go back to the pizza shop. We make money. So I'm guessing um, Christina works at a pizza shop at home. I don't know. And as Christina's yelling, go take care of your kids, da-da-da, there's going to be another fight. And I don't know what exactly happened at this point, but Christina was standing a little bit behind Amber. And then I, or not Amber, behind Asia, and then Amber was over here. So the weird part was is when right before... Hanan or Susu, whoever went after her first, Susu, I believe, yeah. Whenever she went after her, you kind of see Christina look a little, like, frightened or shocked or whatever. And she puts her hand, like, or starts to put her hands on 
the countertop behind Asia. And I'm like, I had to rewind it back. I'm like, is she trying to hide behind Asia? Like, what is going on? I don't know. And Susu came in swinging. She was going crazy. Hanan throws a chair. Those girls don't play. They be throwing everything. And, you know, you think that they're going to stay in the house. But no, later on, a producer, that guy, if you guys haven't seen him before, his name is Justin. Um, he tells them that they have to go home because of the level of violence, throwing the pictures, etc., etc. And, of course, Amber threw the pictures back. And that went closer to Hanan and Susu than when they threw the pictures up. But... Kind of like you can't send her home too. Like they just be sending everybody damn home. But she did throw a picture back. All right. So Christina says in the confessional, the hippos are gone. Once again, she's referring to them as being fat. I still don't get it. Um, Jamie cries that Susu and Hanan have to pack and leave. And they're like, Jamie, we right here. Like we friends. And Kelsey mentioned this to me too. She was like, why are they acting like they such best friends and blah, blah, blah. And they've only known each other for two weeks. Because when you live in one of these houses, for one, there's no TV and there's nothing really to do but talk to each other and hang out with each other so you get to know each other. So in a two-week period, I would say you can pretty much get to know somebody more than you would even get to know them in five, ten years if it's not somebody you hang out with every single day. The reason being was because you have to talk. That's how you entertain yourself. You're with them 24 hours a day all day long so like that never happens in real life so I do believe you could make a really good friend in a week or two weeks being on TV because the whole environment the situations are completely different um, Tiana and I grew super close on all-star battle 2 um, so did Shelly and I I made other friends on that show that we have like a bond with but you grow you do you grow really close to, uh, you grow really close to people being in these environments because of the no TV and having to talk to one another. All right, so let's see. Um, next thing you know, so they go home and the girls go to the charity. Well, only the OGs go because the Twerk Sisters are like, no, we're not going to go. We don't want to start a fight there. Da da da. It's a charity. We want to do that. So they raised $1,469 and they're taking it to Shelter Partnership, which was nice. And then Jasmine and Jamie are writing on all the girls' pictures. They're sitting there talking shit like we're the best, we're the smartest, we're the prettiest, we're the coolest, they're our grandmas, they're da-da-da. And they're just going on. You could tell that they're ready to fight or start something. Like, it's the last day, and they aren't trying to take no breaks after they've been fucked with and picked on the whole damn season. All right, so it's the last live coach meeting. Everyone meets with Laura. By the way... Last week when my grandma went to the hospital, we were in the ER until about 12 midnight, so she was there almost six hours. Um, everything is fine. Her blood pressure and her um, sugar level, she's diabetic, was extremely high, so she was like shaky and not feeling good. Um, but after they did tests and everything, they said everything was okay, so that's really good. So thank you everybody for your concerns and your um, prayers and stuff. By the way, I'm itching. Because you guys know I went to um, Florida with my mom. It was a lot of fun. I have some tan lines. I'm a little burnt. Um, but my knees, oh my god, my knees itch. My forearms were really, really tan. But uh, yeah, I'm itchy. I'm so itchy. I need to put more lotion on and I'm not even dry. I'm just itchy from this burn. All right. So in the life coach session, Christina has been ca calling Angela. They said that Christina's been calling Angela. They talk all the time. They're going to go to sushi when they get home. Yeah, okay. That's good for them. Um, no, I really am. I'm happy that they are doing that. You know, I don't really like Christina or Angela too much. Um, I like Angela more than Christina, but, uh, no, I don't really care. But I am glad that they did, like, fix something with Laura and that they're going to have a better relationship when I get home. And I think they will too because being on shows like this, like I said, it's a bonding experience and I think they'll grow super close after this. They'll probably talk about it, you know, have something to bond about. Okay, so Jasmine and Jamie said their dad never called. They realized that it's his choice. And I did like what Laura said. Laura said, you guys stayed who you are. Congratulations to you. You don't let anybody change you, even in adversity. And that was one of the things I always said about the Turk sisters. Like, they're annoying as fuck, but they don't let anybody tell them how to act or who to be. And they didn't let anybody change them. And that's why I respect them. Because I don't necessarily have to love your personality, but I respect the fact of... People who stay them. And this is what I told Tiana from, why is my computer timing out? From season, when Tiana and I were season 11, you know we didn't um, 
Well, I liked her. She didn't like me. I didn't understand what was going on. Of course, everything was instigated by Mimi. But after the show, when we became friends, I told her, I said, you know, the one thing, and this was before the BGC 11 reunion, I believe. I told her, I said, the one thing that I respect about you is that when you said you didn't like me and that you didn't fuck with me, you quit talking to me. Other girls, like, were talking to me and being nice to me, and I was confused to why it seemed like later on they wanted to fight me and not be my friend because I was like, they're being nice to me. And that was the one thing I appreciated about Tiana. Like, whether it was justified or not for her not liking me, which, of course, comes to find out it wasn't. It was instigated by Mimi. Um, I appreciated the fact that she stayed the same and she meant what she said and she did what she said. Regardless of disliking me or not, I can always respect people who are like that. You don't have to like me, but don't pretend to damn like me and talk behind my back. Alright, so I really, yeah, I like the Twerk sisters. They're pretty much, um, I would say, probably one of my favorite sisters this season um, for that reason. Alright, so Amber and Asia grew closer, and I didn't really see problems with them in the first place. I don't know what their problems were. I don't know. So it's the last dinner. The girls sit separately. Twerk sisters over here. OG's over here. And then it's their last night out. Jamie makes the comment, sweet and sour feeling. I'm <laughs> like, what? I like the sweet and sour cabbage, that cabbage patch. Cabbage Patch? Cabbage Patch dolls. What the hell am I thinking? I feel crazy. Okay, so sweet and sour comment. Like, I like the little commercials where they're, like, sweet and then they're sour and they act all crazy. But that was weird that she said it. I've never heard somebody say that before. It's like a sweet and sour feeling. You just like bittersweet. I don't know. All right, so they're at Supper Club. They're having fun. And in the limo, it's like, okay, is there going to be a stair fight last or is it going to be a limo fight last? And it seems like it's going to be a limo fight because... Jamie's talking mad shit. She's like, she's saying, um, actually Jasmine was talking the most shit, I feel like. She's like, oh, you look like Barney. I think they want to be our friends. And, uh, Jasmine's titties look really good there with that little top. They were like hanging all nice and pretty. All right, so Christina has a crazy look at her face and she starts mocking them and the girls stay, uh, Asia and Amber stay quiet pretty much the whole time. I'm surprised they didn't snap. They were just chilling. They're like, it's last night. We're not doing this right now. All right, so Jasmine says, I didn't get... Oh, both their names wrong because Jamie said that. Jamie said, I didn't get fucked up not one time. My face is pretty. <laughs> like, you know, those girls are going crazy in the limo. They're being obnoxious, making all that noise, laughing and stuff. That was funny. Um, they definitely made the finale worth watching. Those girls are hilarious. All right, so the end of Baggles Club Season 15, Twisted Sisters, is coming. And there is a mariachi band playing. And I was kind of thinking, I'm like, Maybe they're tricking us. Maybe it's not the finale. Maybe they're going on vacation. Because did they go on vacation this season? I remember they took the road trip down to that whatever place. Like, I don't think they went anywhere. That was weird. Um, so, Asia and Amber, they come in singing. Asia and Amber are the first to go. They start singing um, the original sisters with the same mister. Because we know they have the same dad. And the Twerk sisters are taking shots. Okay, so after the first two sisters leave, I know they were they were in shock because everybody would have thought, which I thought, Twerk sisters would have left first. Their replacements, usually replacements, always leave first. So Asia and Amber go. I know they're probably like, these motherfuckers, I can't believe we aren't leaving last. They thought they were running the damn house. All right, so Twerk sisters start taking shots. Christina's starting to look so uncomfortable, and I at first thought they might have tried to fight her. That would have been kind of funny. Um, like, you ain't so tough now, are you, Christina? You by your damn self. So. But no fight happened. Uh it's because they were under the stairs, and they weren't in the limo yet, so the, a fight couldn't have happened, right? All right, so the next song was You're Here With No Sister, I Know You Miss Her, and I'll Take This Five Bucks, and Good Luck, and of course it's Christina. I know Christina was like, mother, I can't believe I'm leaving second. How are the replacements going to stay la last as if they're the stars of the season? I'm thinking, like, production really must not like the OGs because they send them out first. That never happens. That's crazy. I was completely in shock. And, uh, but keep in mind, it obviously would have been more entertaining with the Twerk sisters staying. They want to go twerk on every damn thing. They want to take shots. They want to act crazy and stuff. The other girls were just like, oh, I love you. This is such a great experience. Like, nobody wants to see that shit. We've already seen it enough. All right, so last sister, they start seeing, or, yeah, for Twerk sisters, they say Twerk's on fleek. Y'all thought the other bad girls were weak, da-da-da, and it's time for them to go. So that was a nice little different outro, and I'm really glad the Twerk sisters stayed the last and let's see. Let's read some questions. Okay. So, on Instagram, Oates, O-A-T-E-S dot John says, how do you feel about the season overall? I actually really, really like this season. I think this is one of the best seasons in a really long time. 
All right. $5 bill. I feel like I talked about that a lot. Okay, explicit dot advisory says, who do you think ran the house and do you think the OGs were scared of Hanan and Susu? Mm, who ran the house? It, it, I'm kind of torn because I would want to say the OGs, but then I was like, the Torque sisters added a lot. So I don't think the Torque sisters were too loud and out of control to let the OGs run the house, which the OGs really tried to run the house. And do I think the OGs were scared of Hanan and Susu? Yes, they did not want to fight those two girls. And now we see why they throw on chairs, they throw on pictures, they throw on fists. <laughs> like, you don't want to mess with them and they big girls. No. All right. BGC.Elite says, do the producers wake you up at a certain time or can you sleep till whenever? You can sleep till whenever. If you have something to do, then you have to get up. Like, say, for instance, the charity and stuff, like, you have to get up for that. But, no, you can sleep pretty much as long as you want until the other damn girls wake you up. All right. West Coast, X instead of an S for West. He says, if Kelsey was fighting one of the other girls, would you jump in? No, I would not jump in, but if Kelsey was getting beat up, which I really doubt she would, I would definitely toss one of those bitches off of her. But no, I'm not just going to jump in a fight for no damn reason. All right. Mitt G, M-I-T-J-E says, do you regret that you didn't do BGC 15? I'm from the Netherlands. Wow. Hi from the Netherlands. Um, and thank you for watching every week. Um, I kind of regret not doing it, but then again, everything happens for a reason, and what was I doing at the time? You know, Kelsey stays here when I'm out of town, she watches the house, she watches Kiko, watches my fish, and there would have been nobody to watch the damn house, so I don't know what we would have done. Might have got my little sister to watch it, she would have burned the damn house down, that girl crazy. <laughs> Bad Girls Club ain't ready for her, she only 18 and that girl's bad, so... I mean, I, I do wish we would have done it, but there's going to be other shows. And we were actually pitched for a different sister show, which I'd like to do. It's with a different network, so I'm excited about that. Um, Okay. Salute me, I'm Ju, J-U. Why do you think they didn't have a vacation? I have no idea. Um, Maybe they didn't like these girls? Ten episodes is real quick to be trying to do a two-episode Um. Vacation. I don't know why I didn't get a vacation. I wonder if they even had to have a passport this season. All right. Dre Benzo wants to know, do you think Susu punked Asia when Susu was throwing pictures at Amber and Christina? Do you think Susu punked Asia? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think Susu punched? Maybe he meant to say punched Asia. I don't think she, she punched Asia. All right, let's do two more. Um, and for dough now, tell me if you want someone to intern at putting suntan lotion on you, I'm your man. Um, okay, thank you. All right, Beatriz, what is the underscore A-B-R-E-A-U. Can you please explain the policy in regards to fighting, like what is allowed and what is not allowed? And thank you, I love you too. Basically, it's all case by case. It's not necessarily who throws the first punch because somebody could have been instigating you in your face um, so it's really like a level of violence type of thing and I mean sometimes I didn't really agree with how they sent people home but you got to keep in mind it has to be level of violence and also how they feel the situation will be better for the house. I mean some people because of how violent they are they send them home they don't want to but in certain situations they're like uh, no they really want you there because of TV. I mean, keep in mind, it's a damn TV show. So it's really case by case. And if it's like too, too violent, then they're going to send your ass home. But for the most part, they're going to really try to keep everybody just because it's more entertaining that way. But um, yeah, so I'm excited about the reunion um, next week. And I don't know if you guys saw Empire. It was good. Um, I don't know who fell off that damn balcony. I kind of think it was Boo Boo Kitty because it didn't sound like Rhonda screaming down the balcony. And you heard the voice get quieter. Um, so apparently, Lucius knows that she pushed her. And I'm just glad my man Hakeem ain't married yet. Because that means I still have a chance. <laughs> I just play it, guys. Uh, but yeah, Empire was really good. So I'm excited about this finale. And sorry this video is so late. I haven't been feeling well today. And I've been doing a ton of housework, yard work, and stuff. But um, yeah. I will see you guys next week, and I love you.